Hello. Today, I want to share with you one of the greatest gifts that I ever received. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a way in which you can create something that will be a gift to you and to others in the future. So what was this gift that was so um, impacting in my life? After my dad passed away, we came into possession of my granddad's journals. And at that time, my son uh, took those journals and scanned them and created a book uh, for me of all my granddad's journals. There's almost 700 pages of information in here. When I was five, we immigrated to Canada. And so I really only got after that time to spend about four summers with my grandfather. And I remember talking to him, listening to his stories. I remember doing things with him where we would maybe make a model together or we would go for a walk in the garden and he would tell me about how he was growing each one of the 64 different rose bushes he had uh, in his garden. And you know, those times were really special to me. It's been about 40 years now since he passed away. And as I got older, I realized there were many more conversations that I would have really wanted to have with him. Receiving those diaries was like being able to open up that dialogue and have some of those conversations with him again. It was really fascinating for me to read about my granddad's first impressions of Canada when he came here in 1955. It was also really cool for me uh, to see what his thoughts were when he came to visit us in the 1970s and how those sort of dovetailed with some of my own memories of that time. And there were lots of things there that we wouldn't necessarily deem important at first glance, like the daily weather or some lists or budgets or, you know, receiving his new glasses. There was actually a list there of his parents and all his siblings and the years in which they were born. I discovered what vegetables and flowers he planted in 1956 and when he planted them. And then he had a little budget there from when he went on holiday. I discovered he paid six pound to stay in a hotel. They had a nice dinner out for two pound 85. As I read through, it began to trigger some things in my own mind. I thought, what if I could have something that I could look over at the end of the year and see what I did, see what I thought, even the little things. What if I had something that maybe in the future my children or my grandchildren would find and it would be a way for them to connect with me and have those conversations with me like I've been having with my granddad. I don't know about you, but I've tried to keep a journal before and I do really, really good for about the first three or four days. And then after that, I kind of taper off and then there's nothing for a while. And I had to ask myself, why is that happening? Why is it that I only get to a certain point? And one of the things I realized is I get to a point where I'm just kind of staring at a blank page. I've got a blank mind and I'm asking myself, well, what do I write on this page? What would make it easier for me to keep a journal? And one of the things I thought is why don't I set aside some questions that I can ask myself every day, or maybe even a whole book of questions that I could kind of look through and then kind of pick the ones that I want and then use those to actually write in my journal. I thought it'd be a great idea to take those questions then and then put them in a notebook with the date above each one. And then I'd have something to write about every day. So that is exactly what I did. And when I looked at it, I thought this is going to be such a big help to me. So I thought to myself, am I the only guy who struggles with this, trying to keep a journal and trying to know what to say? So I thought, you know what? I want to share what I've done. I want to share the work that I've done with other people. So I went up onto uh, Amazon Kindle Publishing and I created seven really unique covers uh, for some journals and I've published them both as soft covers and hard covers so that I could help other people who are struggling through the same kind of issue that I am with keeping a journal. So I want to challenge you to grab one of these journals and join me in creating a journaling habit this year. It's gonna be an amazing thing for us to get to the end of the year and then see what we've done and have a record of that that we can share with others or we can keep for ourselves uh, just to reflect back on and discover more about who we really are.
And one other thing, for the month of December, I've decided that I want to take half the profits that we make from this book, and I want to give it to an organization that's doing something to help people in a developing country. So uh, you're not just giving to yourself, to your future, but you're also giving uh, towards something that is helping people today. And if you want to learn more about what I think is the best medium for journaling, then why don't you check out this video?